I absolutely love Windows 10. It's the most stable and smooth Windows operating system after Windows 7. I did try Windows 11 and I had some issues with it. And then I got back to Windows 10. Coming to the laptop, it's a Lenovo IdeaPad. I use this laptop like a media server of sorts for movies and music. It's powered by Intel Core i5, 7th generation, 8GB RAM and a 1TB hard disk. It's relatively old but sufficiently functional. We have vanilla windows on this laptop right now. I installed it all fresh last night. Let's start with some tinkering now, shall we? Drivers are effectively the efficient mode of communication between the software and hardware components like sound, mouse trackpad and the display as well. You can download the drivers for your laptop or PC from the respective company's official website. And always make sure you have the drivers saved at some place safe. I'll go ahead and install them real quick. Did you know Microsoft releases two builds a year? So I'm perfectly fine without the auto updates. So to disable Windows auto update, all we have to do is go to services. You need to search for a service called Windows update and then go to its properties and startup type disabled and stop and apply. Click OK. Now let's go to group policy editor by searching for GP edit and here it is edit group policy and here we need to go into the computer configuration, the administrative templates and then windows components and let's scroll down to find windows update and here you have this option to configure automatic updates let's double click it and let's enable it and we'll make it remind us uh, every weekend uh, on some odd timing the timings which we probably don't use laptop and then we'll actually set up some time for it so that uh, it doesn't pop up uh, in the middle of our work so i'll go with notify for download and auto install and scheduled install day i just click saturday and scheduled time I think three should be okay. That's three early in the morning. And then let's click apply and okay. Windows 10 has some default applications. Most of them we can get rid of easily. And for the ones we can't, I have shared some PowerShell commands in the description. All you have to do is open PowerShell as administrator and paste the commands there. The app list on your laptop should look a lot more lean and clean now. Let's go ahead and customize this a little bit more. Let's go to settings and under the devices, I usually go to mouse and additional mouse options. I just change the mouse motion to fastest available and because I like it that way. Then we can go back and go to the personalization under the background. Let's change it for now. Under the colors, I'm going to go with dark windows mode and dark default app mode let's change it to green maybe and then let's go to lock screen i don't need any additional notifications so i just keep it as a picture and the default picture should be good enough i don't need any fun facts so i'll just disable that and then let's go to themes i usually go ahead and disable the default windows sound by selecting no sounds here and apply okay and let's go to start menu we of course need the app list appearing in the start menu for now but i don't need the recently added apps so i'll disable it i don't need suggestions either so i'll disable that too and there are some additional icons uh, appearing here so we can go ahead and disable those as well i don't need documents i don't need pictures settings is good enough so now you can see it's just settings and the account setting here now let's go to the taskbar under the taskbar i'm going to go with the small size for the taskbar buttons and to select which icons appear on the taskbar i don't need meet now i don't need a oh, microphone let's go back select turn off system icons on or off and here we'll get rid of the input indicator location action center microphone and meet now let's go back and i think this is done Taking for web browsing, I'm going with Google Chrome and if you think Chrome is going to hog quite some RAM, I think Brave is one another good alternative along with Firefox, of course. And Edge too has come a far way. For music and media, the most preferred app is VLC Media Player. There's also Pod Player which helps you maintain a good library with a better GUI. Gome Player is one another alternative to Windows Media Player. And Music B is definitely the go-to application if you are looking for a music manager. And then for improving the output 
good audio quality, you can go with FX Sound. Here's the link for a detailed video on the best sound enhancer application where we discussed in detail about FX Sound. Coming to the utilities, sooner or later you'll be needing an archiver tool uh, to extract zip files. You could go ahead with WinRAR or 7-zip. For some quick photo editing, I still use Picasa. The alternative to default boring notepad for me is Sublime Text. And for screen recording, you can go ahead with OBS Studio. And for the final chef's kiss, let's go to Taskbar X. Let's get a portable copy of it. Once it's downloaded, copy the zip file to a location in C drive maybe. Paste it and then extract it. Let's go inside and, and here you need to search for Taskbar X Configurator. Run it and under the style, we'll go with Transparent. Under Startup, let's create a task scheduler job so that it starts automatically once Windows starts and then click Apply. And then a final restart. I do hope you liked the video. I've experimented with a lot of B-roll in this one. Till we meet again in the next one. Cheers.